Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to a Modern Horizons 3 sealed video where I'll be playing in the Arena Direct Challenge, where if I can get to six wins before two losses, I will win a physical box of Modern Horizons 3, so let's dive on in. If you enjoyed this sort of video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more, comment with your questions, thoughts, and feedback. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this one, because you can enter this one on limited times, which is kind of neat. Okay, so... Our rares, we've got Soren, which I think is pretty good. Shilgengar. Flare of Malice can be maybe okay. Like, four mana for this isn't crazy and limited. And then Psychic Frog, Nantuko. We'll see what we can do. I like to just build, like, a solid deck that has, like, good co good cards throughout rather than, like, one card one deck that just, like, spikes, like, a couple of good cards. Um, So, like, even though, like, my white didn't have any, like, crazy rares. You could still play it if it had not good enough cards. Okay, I like to just go through my colors, get a sense of what's, like, solid. Um, so, like, white, I've got, like, five pretty solid cards here. Let's see what blue has to offer. I like this guy. This card's solid. I really don't like Storm Drake. Um, it's fun on turn two when your opponent doesn't have any creatures to exchange with, but you have to make an exchange with this, and giving them a 3-2 flyer is huge. Um, I'd play this for sure. I'd probably play those. Reform is okay. That's fine. I really don't like Amphibian Downpour. So some decent blue. Let's see what black is looking like. I think this card's okay. This card's okay. A couple more. Soren's a nice little draw into the color combo. I don't think Necrodominance is particularly good. So black has some, some stuff to work with maybe. Let's look at red. I actually like Glimpse the Impossible more than I thought I would. It's actually kind of a sweet combo with Molten Gatekeeper. Um, Amped Raptor can be okay. I've got a little bit of red stuff to work with. Let's check out green now. We've got Fangs is sometimes okay. This card's sometimes okay. I really like this guy. I really like this guy. Overall, looking a little bit dicey. These are like the only two green cards I'm like super happy about. Mm. gold card time i really like this guy i really like these but it doesn't look good with my other green cards like i don't have a lot of um colorless creatures i guess i have these to make like zero one spawns this card's okay maybe it heralds the end as a colorless creature it also buffs my spawns hmm well, 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 let's see. I could build like a blue-black deck maybe to get to play Psychic Frog and a couple of Sneaky Snackers. It seems like a good spot to maybe start off my building. Because the frog is quite good. And I get to play Soren that way. This is kind of like every blue-black card in my pool, and it's still not enough. Hmm. Is it just me, or is this pool not very good? <laughs> I feel like I'm just lacking in, like, good cards. <laughs> um, if I wanted to factor in white, maybe play, like, an Esper deck. Do I have land to support that, first of all? This is blue-white, this is white-black, this is white-black. So I've got a few lands that could maybe support Esper. Like if I played white-black splashing blue. The only problem is my blue cards are like often kind of... Hmm, my blue cards are kind of better on turn two like this guy. Hmm. Mm. this card's okay i guess i could like play it i could also just go for like an ambitious red deck that just plays all these glimpses does some stuff with those mm. i could play naya red white splashing green for the spring heart nantuko splashing green seems terrible though i could just build straight straight up three color I have a few lands that maybe help. Let's see how my Naya deck looks. 
problem is my best white cards are these Johnny kills the god fails the god sire. This barely gets me to 40. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something powerful I can do that can, like, get me the win. I think Glimpse the Impossible plus um, Fangs of Kelonia or, like, other ways to use the tokens like Molten Gatekeeper Pinging, Springheart and Tuco tokens. Like, I feel like this is the direction I want to go. I just need to figure out what I want to splash to make this, like, a feasible deck. And for my red-green... I've got white as a decent splash because I've got these three lands that can all make white. Oh, I forgot about this guy. I can just add him in. And then maybe I just add these guys. Wait, what's the white card I saw? Hmm. I could just play these to get the counters rolling. I don't really have energy as a theme. This thing could maybe be okay. Considering I have a few ways to get counters on things. Hmm. Do I want to splash white? Probably. I gain access to this thing. I don't really want to splash double white, but this thing. This is an interesting token thing. If a creature died this turn. Um so any creature, right? Populate. And so I can populate my one-one tokens. I can populate other things. I have spawns to sacrifice to help populate into better things. But I already, these are like my only sources of tokens, and I can't guarantee them being around. I would definitely play this if I was playing this, just instead of a mountain. Um, This buffs up colorless spells. I don't really have colorless spells, though. This is like instead of a forest, too. Um, this is like another token slash big creature I could play. Mm. This is tricky. Maybe I just go all out and just go like play three of these and play this. And then just like play a couple of the red green land. Do I even have a red green land? No, I don't. I don't have any colorless spells though. So this is how many creatures? 16 creatures, just like play creatures, buff them up with foul strike. Charge. I really don't like this bug. I also don't really have energy synergies for this Raptor, but Raptor can just hit one of my two drops naturally, potentially. Mm -hmm. It's also a two one first striker to go with the trample. Do I want to splash white? If I splashed white, I'd gain access to this land, this land, this land, and this land. So I could splash white fairly easily if I really wanted Dog Umbra and Airy Auxiliary. I guess this card too. Hmm. White's really the only color I would want to splash. I think green is my base. Red, could I play green white splash red for the glimpses the titans and the gatekeepers would that be better i'm trying to figure out if muster the departed could actually work in this deck if a creature died this turn i have very little removal this is kind of just like an all-out aggro deck i think that's kind of where i have to be because splash white for this guy um this guy hmm i don't really like this i could just play this thing it's an aggressive, more aggressive than a warped Tusker. Makes this guy slightly cheaper. Yeah, I think this is my best build. For now, at least. Also, like, Gift of the Viper. I think I like this build, though. Got 14, 13, so slightly biased towards red. These are kind of like three drop combat tricks. Fangs of Colonia is like a late game thing. Hopefully, this works out. I will see you folks in the games. Welcome. We're going to keep this hand. We're kind of playing like an 
a weird deck for the format because we're like red green but we're not really a red green ramp deck we're kind of a red green aggro deck turn two turn three play this is a three three trample Doing nothing on my turn feels bad. I didn't feel like making three spawns it was very good though. Not making three spawns was be a little bit better. I guess I also could have leveraged the spawns into playing this guy ahead of schedule. I already have six lands. I don't think I need more. The funny thing about this is they can use this to tap down my big guy. I'm doing this now because this is when I have the mana to do it. I could have also saved it for like some sort of fireball thing where I like put this in. Saved it for when I draw another one of these things. But the way this this interaction doesn't work the way you want because this guy's gone by the time the three tokens come in. So I'm just going to get in the five damage I can now. The other lucky thing is they have to tap this thing down before they decide whether to do anything. Okay. So those are overall pretty good hits for me. The combat trick doesn't do much. Unless they want to try and kill me in two turns. Which will not work out for them. Like if they go for the... Wing it or something. And then escape Flage next turn or whatever to try and kill me. Like they're dead next turn if they don't do anything because it's five. Six because it buffs itself. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And the Nyx Born Hydra only makes it more. This is Trample. I can buff one of the other guys to give them Trample. Or I can just attack them. They block here. And then just deal four to their face. Oh, they are going for... T I don't understand. So they must have a... Oh, they have the Eldrazi that, that'll chump block. I see, I see. I see. I don't think this is quite good enough for them. Because this is six, seven, eight. Oh. Yep, I think they're dead on board. Maybe. Because they benefit the most from chump blocking two of these. They probably didn't factor in that this thing buffs itself. Um, so I can play this thing to deal four to them. This is six, which they can chump block. Or if they can't chump block, it's got trample. And seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But I only need to do eight. As you can see, every point of damage ends up mattering in these sorts of spots. I could also have used this to give something, um, plus five power. And made it so they couldn't chump block that. So if I make, like, this thing into a... Seven, 
whatever. Nice win. Okie doke. On the play, two drop, three drop. Fangs of Colonia to do some crazy stuff, maybe. This card's actually going to hit them for a billion. Oh, especially against Red Green. Oh, please don't kill the Nightshade Dryad. This is going to be fantastic. Because it's going to get two counters, then it's going to get another counter. Then I'm going to double the number of counters on it. So it'll go to a six, seven... And I didn't come here to mess around. I'm this deck, its whole existence is to kind of try to do stuff like make a this is gonna have three counters, it's gonna be a 10-10 trampler. If they can beat a 10-10 trampler on turn four, attacking them, that's probably gonna be good enough then. You don't put Fangs of Colonia in your deck not to kind of cheese the people in situations like this. I hate to use the word cheese, because it's kind of like the point of the card. But it is like less of a grind them out type situation. And if black is their sp splash color, um, well that sucks. Oh, that's brutal for me. Oh man. Oh, okay. Well, new plan. Hmm. Gosh, I can't believe that. That's so brutal for me. I'm still going to be able to do a lot of damage to them at some point with this, where I just give my guys trample and stuff. Oh, Death Touch is so bad for me there. What color? Color combination are they playing? <laughs> Double red card, black early drops, green early drops. This is one of those classic matchups where uh, some percentage of the time they're going to get messed up by their mana. This works out for me. Okay, let's just see. Double check if I can kill them or not. Um, I think I just want to kill this creature with flying. I can overload this. I counter the double number of crowns on everything. Gosh, I don't know if that was even right. Like, it might have been better to just take the hit a couple turns. Uh, I have a little bit of time, but I need to draw some things to do. I will strike. I think this is better than copying Molten Gatekeeper. Oh, that's brutal. They had double Wither and Bloom. Oh, feels like all my avenues of like winning this game easily have been just shut down. OK. 
Okay. Hmm. So I just play this, kicked. I get two counters on everything. This thing will probably trade with Stringheart. I could have also not attacked with Springheart. But I kind of need them to not kill my Molten Gatekeeper because that's the only thing that can attack past this Detective Phoenix. Then again, I guess. Because my Molten Gatekeeper is pretty important. Okay, so I can put four things on this, yeah. Pretty good draw, honestly. Definitely kill the guy that can draw cards. And not the thing that can come back from the graveyard. I wonder if I should play some fetch lands to go with my Nintuko, but that's probably just too fancy. Yes, another win. Okay, another keep. As we already know, the Amped Raptor is not that good in our deck. Maybe I just start copying Nightshade Dryads. I'm a little light on lands at the moment. Which is kind of unfortunate because this card goes great with lands. Okay. Missing a land drop is brutal. <laughs> sure, I'll kill it. I could have put a foul strike onto like the raptor or on the nightshade dryad or something. But considering that they have this in play, I feel like I'm going to get to kill something with this at some point. Hmm. 
I feel like saving this as much as possible is going to be the best. Nice win. The deck is cruising. I love it. Love, love it. We have another situation on our hands. We could play this as a 1-2 on turn 2, make it into a 3-2, and then 3-4, and then go after him. But I think we're going to go for the alternative line of playing Gatekeeper, buffing Gatekeeper, and then Fangzing. Oh gosh, I hate that card. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, sure. Yeah, this is going to be a, a probable loss, I'd say. Oh, only permanents they can cast. Okay. That's a good draw. I do need one more land. I don't really need to spawn that much. End step two foul strikes followed by a fangs on the following turn could win me the game if they don't. If they try to get fancy with their solstice zealot or something. Sure. That's going to be good with Fangs of Colonia at some point, I think. I just need their, their Solstice Zealot is actually really getting me here. Because I can't go all in and just kill them with my fangs. Sure. Sure. Okay. 
So this can go for five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I can't quite count. Here is hoping they tap out or they do something crazy. I think I'm dead though. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that one lined up badly. Um, if I had not bestowed, I think that would have gone better for me. I, I thought that the counters would go on to the guy for some reason. I just foolishly on that one. It was really just that rhino, though. It made it so I couldn't attack them ever. Um, sometimes those things just don't line up the way you want them to. Well, we'll keep this. Red, white. Gonna go for a quick lion umbra. Hope it works. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I lose like a dog umbra, but. That's how it goes. Sure.
hoping that this works. They couldn't kill it last turn. If they kill it this turn, I'm still equally in trouble. But this way, if they don't block it next turn, I can kill him with foul strike reinforcement again. And I have a blocker for area auxiliary. Sure. 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 Looks like my plan is working. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. I think this plan has gone pretty well. And if I hit three lands, I just kill them with this. <laughs> I literally... <laughs> Lion Number did so much work there. They had the board wipe and everything, and I just got them. Let's go. We'll keep this. This guy plus this guy plus this guy's a lot of damage. And Amp Drafter, if it hits us like our ramp guy or another two drop, could be really good. Yeah, that's fair. I can't believe Foul Strike just dominated that game. They're going to regret doing that pretty soon, I think. This guy plus this guy is going to do a lot. Sure. What a beautiful day, brother. I think I will want to get land drops, so I will play this one from Exile. And I can hit one more land drop and then buff them all up with fangs. Win. Sure. Nice. Cool little synergy there. Sure. I can take some damage. Hmm. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, I want to kill Propagator Drone, I think. Maybe I kill a Johnny Nakato Pariah. I'm also so tempted to go face, but if I go face, it just ends badly, I think. But if I go face, they go to 11. Then I can play Molten Gatekeeper. Fangs of Colonia, them. Uh, no, that doesn't work. I'm just going to kill this guy. Okay. Okay, are they dead now? Um, I can double lock this guy. So, but if on my turn, I can go Fangs of New Colonia, but you play this guy, put Fangs of New Colonia on everything. Which gives me a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 14, 16. But they're going to block the three biggest guys. So I've got 8 guaranteed damage that way. Um, hmm. That's a card. Dang it. Why the heck are they playing that card? Yeah, this didn't work for me. The fangs plan. I have no way to give my guy trample, unfortunately. This guy was the real gotcha card. Unfortunately, it wasn't good enough. Ugh. I needed, like, to have a Springheart and Antuco type game here. Or just some way to give this guy trample. Oh, well. I got some wins. More wins than I thought I'd get. This deck wasn't very good, so... Getting four wins is pretty decent. Like... If you just look at the card quality I was working with, it was pretty... Like, I was just doing some cheesy stuff, mostly. And if I had, um... Like, that game, I needed to draw, like, Lion Umbra to, like, give me a shot. But, like, I don't know. I was really... I think I really needed to have my third glimpse of the impossible or something like that.
um, or to like get my Titans Vanguard rolling, but I milled both those, or to draw my big fly or something. But yeah, I didn't really have the tools to break through. Um, but yeah, pretty decent performance. Uh, got some wins, got some. I think I got to four, so I got like 2,000 gems back. So pretty nice, neat. And uh, yeah, if you made it to the end of the video, in the comment section down below, leave hashtag lion because this is a pretty cool lion number deck. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you next time.